Protests across the nation have affected hundreds of cities as many peacefully protest turned less than savory. And 25 News reporter Aaron Heft spoke with experts on how protests and some of their subsequent violence could affect our economy. Economic experts explain both small and large businesses, if affected or destroyed, not only affects the cities that they're in, but the entire community that they're a part of. Businesses damaged, livelihoods shook. Even with insurance, economists say there's no guarantee businesses will return. Which means those jobs go away for the people who live there and those opportunities to shop go away. Though historically, the injection of insurance funding for damages can somewhat reinvigorate the economy. The influx of insurance money actually brings a little bit of a boost to the economy uh, at, at some point down the road. What economists say they find unfortunate is the combination of COVID, as many businesses across the country were and still are struggling. So it's taking people that have been out of work for 90 days, they were barely be having a chance to be in business again which just recently opened up or about to open up and perhaps destroying their life savings and work. Agreeing that the current economy reflects a larger problem within the nation. Now, obviously, this is indicative of some bigger problems in the country that we need to deal with. Uh, poverty is probably the single biggest day-to-day -day threat this economy faces. If you think about all of the communities that are happening in they tend to be in, in um, inner cities, in, a, in, in communities that are not the most affluent. Hopefully this becomes an awakening to people that the combination of this and the way that disadvantaged people suffered so much more during the, during the pandemic, hopefully those two things combined will help society as a whole begin to realize we really need to invest in these neighborhoods. Explaining each community affected by unpeaceful protest takes not only a toll on each city, but each soul who lives there. The, the economic um, impact is greater than the, the, the cost of the buildings. Fortunately, in our Central Texas region, most if not all protests that have been conducted have been peaceful. The same can't be said for our neighboring cities who've had extensive damage. For now live, Aaron have 25 news. Aaron, thank you. Experts predicting the unemployment rate would soar to 20% in May, but the rate actually went down. We'll have more on those new numbers coming up. Plus, although the unemployment rate fell, the number of criminals stealing benefits did not. Why almost every state has reported a rise in fraud activity.